Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about the duplicate curve tool. The duplicate curve tool is located under curve edit and it is located, the tool is located right here. And as the name suggests, it allows you to duplicate a curve. Now let's assume that you created a rail like this and you delete the curves. And later you decided to uh, you decided that you wanted to adjust this a little bit and you wanted to cur uh, you wanted the curves back. In this case, what you can do is just grab the duplicate tool like this and just duplicate the edge like that, and it'll get you the curves back. Um, there are limitations though, because uh, let's say this was a degree two degree uh, two by two surface like this, but let's say you want uh, you changed it uh, you changed it midway to a degree five, you will not be able to get the degree two curve back. So if I just duplicate this one, because it is already a degree five surface, the resulting curve, even though it was created from a degree two curve, the duplicated curve will be a degree five. So you just gotta be uh, sure of that. Also, it is not just curves that you can duplicate, but uh, let's say you have a you have a curve like this, and I'm just going to project over here under surface edit. I'm just going to project a carbon surface right here. But let's say instead of having a carbon surface, you wanted this to be a curve. You can also duplicate a carbon surface too. So we just grab the duplicate, uh, duplicate curve tool, click on the carbon surface, and you'll have a curve like this. Now, uh, that said, however, you gotta be a little bit aware that it the resulting curve is not going to match exactly the curve or the curve surface because the curve surface data is you can't really count it um you know for this uh for this edge because it is a natural edge you can always expect this to be a degree five a degree five curve but because of this, uh, the curve surface is a result of the surface shape and also the shape of the curve, the resulting curve and surface and the resulting duplicate curve is going to have a little bit more data depending on how complex the curve and surface is. Okay, so that's the duplicate curve tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.